Born into a patrician family in 121 AD, Marcus Aurelius was destined for greatness, showing exceptional intelligence and character from a young age. Emperors Hadrian and Antoninus Pius recognized his potential, ensuring he received education from Rome's finest scholars, including the Stoic philosopher Apollonius. In a strategic move to secure a stable transition, Hadrian arranged for Marcus to be adopted by Antoninus Pius, making him heir to the Roman throne. Breaking with tradition, Marcus Aurelius co-ruled with Lucius Verus, a partnership that balanced their strengths and weaknesses. Early in his reign, the empire was struck by a devastating plague that claimed millions of lives, testing Marcus's leadership and resilience. Marcus Aurelius embraced Stoicism, finding in it the strength to face the empire's challenges with equanimity and wisdom, as reflected in his personal writings, Meditations. His reign was dominated by the Marcomannic Wars, where he personally led campaigns to defend Rome's borders against Germanic tribes. A catastrophic flood of the Tiber River, coupled with the ongoing plague, brought Rome to its knees. Yet Marcus Aurelius responded with decisive action to aid the affected. Marcus Aurelius implemented significant legal reforms, aiming for fairness and protection of the vulnerable, including slaves and women. His reign is often seen as the embodiment of Plato's ideal of the philosopher king, ruling with wisdom and virtue. Marcus skillfully navigated diplomacy with Rome's eastern neighbors, maintaining peace through strategic marriages and alliances. The prolonged Marcomannic Wars and the plague strained the empire's finances, prompting Marcus to sell palace valuables to fund the military. Marcus Aurelius envisioned a Rome governed by reason and justice, striving to align the empire's policies with Stoic principles. Despite the empire's troubles, he continued to patronize the arts and philosophy, ensuring Rome remained a cultural beacon. In 161 AD, the Parthian Empire attacked Rome's eastern provinces, prompting Marcus and Lucius Verus to launch a counter-campaign, which, despite initial setbacks, ended in Roman victory. Marcus Aurelius's greatest personal tragedy was the death of his capable son, Annius Verus, leaving the erratic Commodus as his successor, casting a shadow over his legacy. Responding to threats along the Danube, Marcus Aurelius spent much of his later years on campaign, fortifying the northern frontier and negotiating with tribal leaders. Written in Greek while on campaign, Meditations offers profound insights into his thoughts, fears, and philosophical musings, serving as a timeless guide to Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius is remembered for his just and prudent governance, often placing the needs of the empire above his personal comfort or glory. Marcus's decision to make his son Commodus his successor is considered by many historians as his gravest mistake, leading to a period of instability. Marcus Aurelius was not only a warrior, but also a peacekeeper, often choosing diplomacy over conflict to maintain the empire's stability. Even as emperor, Marcus Aurelius remained a student of philosophy, constantly seeking wisdom from his tutors and from the Stoic texts he revered. Despite the empire's financial difficulties, Marcus Aurelius commissioned significant architectural projects, including the revitalization of Rome's aqueducts. Marcus Aurelius often sacrificed his personal wealth and comfort for the sake of the empire, selling off personal belongings to fund military campaigns. Even in the midst of the Marcomannic Wars, Marcus Aurelius adhered to his Stoic principles, facing adversity with calmness and fortitude. Understanding the importance of the populace's well-being, Marcus Aurelius initiated numerous public welfare projects, including the distribution of food and financial aid to the needy. Marcus Aurelius earned the respect of both his subjects and his enemies for his fairness and integrity, often being referred to as the philosopher king by friend and foe alike. Marcus Aurelius's death in 180 AD marked the end of the Pax Romana, the period of relative peace and stability that had lasted for over two centuries. Our journey through time comes to an end for today. We embark on new adventures every week. If you relish the experience, please like and subscribe.